as you see me here, today neurologists have gone into this in a big way. You are seeing me in fourteen different points in your brain right now, fourteen different points, even a football, I'm telling you <laughs> Why not everybody can anticipate a football coming their way the s to the same extent? Why a Lionel Messi? Makes everybody looks like a mess. It's just that, that if these fourteen things are aligned and properly active, he sees things that others cannot see. If it is little disaligned, you will see it little late, you will have to do some extra work to see it. You know, aren't you every day frustrated with your players, somebody can't see it in time? You are telling me somebody is attracting a ball like a magnet? No, 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 he's seeing it little before than others see it, isn't it? Because seeing is not simply like a simple camera as people thought it is. Image is taken in, broken into fourteen different parts. You are seeing color in one place, form in another place, texture in another place, fourteen different formats are happening in your brain at the same time. If we just take a… if you just put a pin on one point, suddenly color will disappear. If you put it in another place, texture will disappear, form will disappear. So this is a complex mechanism. If this has to be fully used, the person who drives this must be beyond limitations. Otherwise, he will drive it in limited ways. If you sit here, if your four limbs are just doing their own thing, would be ridiculous, isn't it? Right now, please watch this carefully, that's exactly what's happening. That your body and your mind are doing their own thing without consulting the being which they're supposed to house and serve. They're not even consulting, they're doing their own stuff. When an instrument which you are supposed to use is doing its own thing and not serving you, that is mess. Not a messy, that's a mess. Now, you will see this, if anybody gains a certain level of physical control, even even an athlete or a sports person whom you are witnessing every day in your life, you will see those who have a certain level of control over their body have a certain aura and a certain quality about them. They know nothing else, they may be completely ignorant, they may be living a bad life, but you will see there is a certain aura about him simply because he has a certain control over his body. Have you noticed this? You will see this with wild animals. If you see a tiger, he has a certain aura about him, you can't help be awestruck by him simply because of the kind of control he has over his body. Why I'm saying this is, if just the physical movement, just doing this, if you can do it exactly the way you want it, suddenly there is a new level of beauty and freedom in your life. This is the beauty of speech, singing, dancing. It is just that you are able to do it just the way you want it. If you just blabber, it will not be beautiful. If you cannot stick to the tune and sing, it will not be beautiful. If you cannot move your limbs the way you want it, it will not be beautiful. Just you are able to do this just the way you want it suddenly there's a new level of power, new level of beauty and a different kind of aura about that body. So this is just a small example of if your senses begin to serve something deeper inside, suddenly there is a new level of beauty to who you are.